Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain about objective questions and answer of metal casting processes. So here that will be a part number 7 which will be containing with top 20 questions with detailed explanation. So let us start with our question number 1. The purpose of inoculation is option A to clean the casting option B to decrease the melting temperature of a cast metal option C to modify the structure and properties of a cast metal and option D to improve the finish of the castings. So basically the inoculation is used to modify the structure and properties of cast metal. So right answer is option C. The next question. The main advantage of cell molding is that option A a metal pattern is used option B the molds are stronger option C high production rate is possible and option D thin sections can be easily obtained. So basically the main advantage of cell molding is that the thin sections can be easily obtained. So the right answer is option D. The next question, draft on pattern for casting is shrinkage allowance, option B, identification number mark on it, option C, taper to facilitate its removal from mold and option D for machining allowances. So basically the draft allowance onto the patterns into the castings that will be providing taper to facilitate it removal from the sand mold. So right answer is option C. The next strength and permeability of served sand are related to option A grain size, option B clay content, option C hardness and option D moisture content. So strength and permeability both the characteristics of sound as a sand are related to a moisture content. So right answer is option D. The next casting process is preferred for parts having option A a few details, option B many details, option C no details and option D none of the above. So in case of the casting process, generally that would be preferred for parts having a many details. So option B. The next, in order to facilitate the withdrawal of the patterns, option A, pattern is made smooth. Option B, water is applied on pattern surface. Option C, allowance are made on pattern and option D draft is provided on a pattern. So basically the draft allowance that will be associated with the easily withdrawal of the patterns from the sand moldings. So draft allowance is provided onto the patterns. So right answer is option D. The next least shrinkage allowance is provided in case of following option A brass option B aluminium, option C cast iron and option D steels. So basically into the brass that will be having a minimum shrinkage allowance as compared to aluminium, cast iron and steel. So right answer is option A. The next the draft allowance on the patterns is provided in order to option A provide good draft of air in the sand molding option B provide for distortions that might take place option C remove the pattern easily from the molding and option D push the pattern easily into the mold walls so draft allowance is used for remove the pattern easily from the molds that we already discussing that so it is a option is sap C the big advantage of using synthetic sand in foundry shop is that option A it is less costly, option B its properties can be controlled easily, option C 
it possesses high moisture and option D it is highly refractory. So synthetic sand having a properties can control easily into the foundry shop. So right answer is option B. The next the draft allowance on metallic pattern in comparison of wooden ones is option A same option B less option C more less depending on to the size and option D none of the above same the comparison between metallic pattern with wooden so the draft allowance onto the metallic pattern which is less as compared to the wooden patterns because wooden that will be having a dimensional inaccuracy if the moisture is being present so right answer is option b less which of the following materials has more shrinkage allowances option a cast iron option b brass option c lead and option c steel so in case of talking about a shrinkage allowances the lead having a more shrinkage as compared to cast iron brass and steel so option c the next which of the following provides an added projections on a pattern and forms a seat to support and locate the core in the mold option a mold print option b core print option c drag and option d cop so basically core print which will be used to providing the support to the core or you can say that will be added a projections onto the pattern and forms a seat to support and locate the core and really the core that will be used for making a hollow component or you can say hollow cast object so you need to support that core materials so core print that will be used so option b the mold is housed in a option a flask option b cob option c drag option c, d molding box so basically the mold is housed in a flask so option a then loose piece patterns are option a a sort of split patterns option b used when the pattern cannot be withdraw from the mold option c similar to core prints and option d none of the above so in case about the talking about loose piece patterns generally use when the pattern cannot be drawn from the mold so you should use a loose pieces for making a exact cavity so option b the next cores are used to option a make desired recess in casting option b strengthen molding cast sand option c support loose piece option d none of the above so basically cores are used to make desired recess or you can say hollow part into the casting so option a the next travel is option a a round sieve option b a long flat metal plate fitted with an offset handle option c used to make or repair corners in molds option d none of the above so basically travel is a long flat metal plate fitted with an offset handle so option b shrinkage allowance is made by option a adding to external and internal dimensions option b substrating from external and internal dimensions option c subtracting from external and adding to internal dimensions and option d adding to external dimensions and subtracting from internal dimensions so basically in case of shrinkage allowances the adding to external dimensions and subtracting from internal dimensions so the right answer is option d the next wood for pattern is considered dry when moisture content is 
ऑप्शन ए जीरो परसेंट ऑप्शन बी फाइव परसेंट ऑप्शन सी लेस देन फिफ्टीन परसेंट एंड ऑप्शन डी ग्रेटर देन फिफ्टीन परसेंट सो बेसिकली लेस देन फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द मॉइस्चर इज प्रेजेंट इन टू द वुडन पैटर्न सो इट वुड बी कंसिडरिंग एज अ ड्राई पैटर्न बिकॉज दैट वुड बी अवर नेचुरल मटेरियल्स सो द मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इट विल बी प्रेजेंट इन टू दैट सो लेस देन फिफ्टीन सो दैट वुड बी द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी The purpose of GAT is to option A feed the casting at a rate consistent with the rate of solidification. Option B act as reservoir for molten metal. Option C help feed the casting until all the solidification take place. And option D none of the above. so basically the purpose of the getting systems the feed the castings at a rate consistent with the rate of solidification so you should maintaining the directional solidification process so you will get defect free materials or you can say you should reducing the defects so right answer is option a which of the following type of sand is used to keep the green sand from sticking to the pattern option a burnt sand option b synthetic sand option c core sand and option d parting sand so basically the parting sand which will be used to keep the green sand that will be sticking to the patterns in case of the sand molding process so the right answer is option d so i hope you understand all that questions if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching